Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 project. Today's experiment, They Bleed Pixels. It's uh, developed and published by Spooky Squid Games. And that uh, Spooky Squid seems to be on the right side of the screen right there. In a kind of Tulu kind of way. Which may not be far from the truth because here's what the game has to say about itself. They Bleed Pixels is a friend. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? They Bleed. <laughs> this is apparently difficult today. They Bleed Pixels is a fiendishly difficult action platformer inspired by HP Lovecraft and classic horror. Rendered in a distinct visual style that blends pixel art with the paper and ink textures. They Bleed Pixels is a singular mix of intense platforming and fierce beat em up action. This actually sounds kind of good. At the core of its fighting system is a simple one-button combat scheme uh, with surprising depth and versatility. Which sounds like it's gonna be interesting how they pull that off. Body mashing is, a dis is discouraged while kicking shadowy monsters into saws, pits and spikes is rewarded. Thanks to a unique system that lets you earn and place your own checkpoints through stylish skills. The fancier your kills, the faster you fill the checkpoint meter. And they also have a section for the story. When a young girl arrives at the Lafcadio, Lafcadio Academy for Troubled Young Ladies, which is sounding kind of like the uh, Savior School for Gifted Youngsters kind of deal. Uh, she, she's unprepared for the violent nightmares that plague her dreams and transport her to other worlds. Worse yet, her dreams are intruding into her waking life, slowly al altering her flesh into the demonic form of her night terrors. Can she destroy the mysterious blood-soaked book that appears to be the root of her troubles? Or will her transmutation from girl to clawed horror become complete? Something, something, and dark shine. Something, something, complete. Let's see what it has to offer, right? Tutorial. Let's demonstrate basics. I can do this. Will you allow me to do this? Now you try. Superb, let's continue. Stabbing is functional, but won't get you combo points for style. Avoid butting mashing. There are more effective ways of killing. Let me demonstrate a new technique. Stand still and tap A. Now you try. Superb! Kicks won't do damage, but a Wait for breaking through enemies while blah. Okay, tap for forward, hold for uppercut. Uppercut kick. Kicking up takes time, but sets you up for moves with a larger common multiplier. With the demonstrate a new technique. Yeah, aerial stabbing. Now you try. Thank you. Shift enemies around in mid-air by pushing left or right while stabbing them. Okay. Oh, I have to hold the button. Okay, dash from this distance range, do more damage again. If that is blocked, missed, you'll go dim and lose the ability shift for a short period. Pause the game at any time to be full instructions, experiment, discover. And they have to demonstrate duck, really? Well, I guess they do. Attack while ducking to hit low, duck while running to slide. Meter, stand still and cast save. Do I just stand still to actually cast save? Stand still without casting a sigil. 
How do you actually pronounce that? Because I would kind of call it a seal. Sigil. Sigil. By holding the iron. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Camera with right stick. Do we find the Book of Thule? Almost, but then a bloody book. We stack those books really quickly, though. <laughs> bloody hell. Bloody book, actually. Looks like wall jumping, hold jump, hold jump, double jumping. Yes. You kick those up, right? They do a tutorial here as well, so what's the deal? The controls are a little bit tricky because I can't run up to something and then start tapping the attack button. I have to hold in the direction that I want it to go. Oops. Not what I had in mind. <laughs> I'm trying to do combos and it's killing me. People are gonna go nuts for this one. Checkpoint ready. Do we want to spin it already? No, we do not. Let's try and do something else first. Here we go. Checkpoint. I'm getting achievements. Stuff I'm not sure about. Or rather, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Couldn't really get out of that. Give us. <laughs> well, they bleed pixels. I'll gotta tell you. <laughs> Ten combo. I'm gliding on their blood. I actually am. 
There's a gliding mechanic on the blood parts, and if I... Okay, there's somewhat gliding on the non-bloody ones as well. Ah! <laughs> Tip, do not fall down. Just kick him down instead. Seems to be working. Ow! <laughs> this game is... So easy and so difficult at the same time. Because the concept is so easy, but it is really punishing. Ah, that almost did what I wanted to do there. Bye bye. And apparently, you can also get stuck, kind of. checkpoint here I apologize if it, I apologize if I'm not commenting enough but this game is really fun okay I can't grapple those areas I can slide down faster if need be oh I want to kill those ones as well ah, I knew I could do that <laughs> All right, can't grab that one. Can grab this one. And I can jump across that one. Go down. Okay, let's. The music is really intense, and it might actually be a bit over the top so far, but. It's not unfitting. Whoa, this is slidey, slidey. And it's I gotta change my mind, it actually is fitting. And um, the graphic style is. Wow! Ah! The graphic style is really simplistic and unique at the same time. I mean, it definitely serves its purpose and it has. It serves a function and also. The fact that the name of the game is Bleed Pixels. Whoa, Super Meat Boy. No, 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 no. I want that one. Well, there we go. Checkpoint. Yeah, I'm only a few minutes in, but this is really engaging. Am I gonna die? Yes, I am gonna die. Especially if I keep spending my double jumps. <sighs> Can I revive somehow? If I lose lives... Rather, if I lose energy... <laughs> Can I regain it somehow, or will I have to rely on the checkpoints? No. 
No bueno. No bueno at all. No. So let's just die instead. There we go. <laughs> the animation is really good. I mean, it's so simplistic, and yet it really, it really shows everything that you want to see. It's smooth. It is all pixely. Ah, that was just stupid. out of six secrets no idea what function they will serve in this game <laughs> uh, that's just Like the description says, it is really punishing. It is just a difficult game so far. I mean, it's not difficult because you have checkpoints everywhere, but... The game itself is difficult. Trying to get the controller to do exactly what you want with such a simple control scheme. And at the same time... Let's do a checkpoint right here. Trying to earn your scores for those checkpoints. All while exploring areas, old school style. Is there anything down there? No. We're still on the first level. That's gotta be my favorite attack, though. Ouch. <laughs> Which way do we want to go? Well, that didn't matter. No! <laughs> Oh, this is just... Ah. So simple yet so hard to execute in the way you want it. You want to do the beautiful combos, but... It just... Ah. It's a little bit too tricky to do. First try... <laughs> and it is so punishing. You have three hits and that's it. Ah. But. There we go. Also, the checkpoint system keeps you trying to build combos because if you don't use combos
there'll be no way for you to actually survive this game. Too close. And yet, you want to kill all your enemies as fast as you can because, well, they're punishing. Juggles! <sighs> and the combo system is just a tad bit difficult. And I'm gonna die if I hit the spike, so let's do a safe route. Boom! Let's put a checkpoint right over here. Oh, you revive at the checkpoint. That's actually kind of logic. Is that the last one? Six out of six, and does that give me anything? Or is that just six out of six and good day to you, sir? Apparently the right path is not the correct one. So let's go for it. Ah! Ouch. Combos is actually what's killing me, not the actual game. Okay. Let's put a checkpoint inside the barbs. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> that was just. Uh, and they're insta kill. Good to know. That's not on. Uh, that is not fair at all. <laughs> oh, this game is punishing me, and I love it for it. Mm. Yes, the bloody book. Lives lost, 21. In order to tour, so continue your education. Unlock, unlock more lessons by making progress in story mode. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think I actually have to show you any more of this game. You can all see what it's about and you can guess the way it's progressing. All I can tell you is it is a lot of fun. Yeah, let's bury it like slightly to the left of the people having the picnic. New 
level. The second dream, chapter one. Here we go. Oh, I get it. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been They Bleed Pixels, and they really do. Uh, platforming beat em up with a single button for attacking that has a combo system that is really intriguing and really punishing and... Ouch. Ouch! Looks like they're gonna introduce new enemies along the way, and the whole checkpoint mechanic is really intriguing. It, it will ah really <laughs> uh. it will really test you. Do you want to finish your enemies quickly, or do you want to build up more checkpoints so you don't have to start over so far away next time? Also, there seems to be some form of exploring, because you can take multiple paths. Ah! And it takes some skill to you know, play the actual game. Skills which I do not have yet. But yeah, until next time, happy gaming, happy bloody gaming. Now you try. Superb! Kicks won't do damage, but are great for breaking through enemies while blah. Okay, tap for forward, hold for uppercut. Uppercut kick. Kicking up takes time, but sets you up for moves with a larger common multiplier. With the demonstrator, new technique. Yeah, aerial stabbing. Now you try. Thank you. Shift enemies around in midair by pushing left or right while stabbing them. Okay. Uh, I have to hold the button. Okay, dash dash on the kind of good. At the core of its fighting system is a simple one button combat scheme uh, with surprising depth and versatility. Which sounds like it's gonna be interesting how you pull that off. Body mashing is, a dis is discouraged while kicking shadowy monsters into saws, pits, and spikes is rewarded. Thanks to a unique system that lets you earn and place your own checkpoints through stylish skills. The fancier your kills, the faster you fill the checkpoint meter. And they also have a section for the story. When a young girl arrives at the Lafcadio, Lafcadio Academy for Troubled Young Ladies, which is sounding kind of like the uh, Savior School for Gifted Youngsters kind of deal. Uh, she, she's unprepared for the violent nightmares that plague her dreams and transport her to other worlds. Worse yet, her dreams are intruding into her waking life, slowly al altering her flesh into the demonic form of her night terrors. Can she destroy the mysterious blood-soaked book that appears to be the root of her troubles? Or will her transmutation from girl to clawed horror become complete? Something, something, a dark side. Something, something, complete. 
Let's see what it has to offer, right? Tutorial. Let's demonstrate basics. I can do this. Will you allow me to do this? Now you try. Superb. Let's continue. Stabbing is functional, but won't get you the combo points for style. Avoid button mashing. There are more effective ways of killing. Let me demonstrate a new technique. Stand still and tap A. This distance range do more damage again. If that is block mist, you'll go dim and lose the ability for a short period. Pause the game at any time to give full instructions. Experiment this. Discover. And they have to demonstrate duck, really? Well, I guess they do. Attack while ducking to hit low, duck while running to slide. Build a seal meter. Stand still and cast save. Do I just stand still to actually cast save? Stand still without casting a sigil. How do you actually pronounce that? Because I would kind of call it a seal. Sigil. Sigil. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indy 500 project. Today's experiment, They Bleed Pixels. It's developed and published by Spooky Squid Games. And that spooky squid seems to be on the right side of the screen right there. In a kind of Cthulhu kind of way. Which may not be far from the truth because here's what the game has to say about itself. They Bleed Pixels is a friend... <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? They Bleed... <laughs> this is apparently difficult today. They Bleed Pixels is a fiendishly difficult action platformer inspired by HP Lovecraft and classic horror. Rendered in a distinct visual style that blends pixel art with the paper and ink texture. They Bleed Pixels is a singular mix of intense platforming and fierce beat-em-up action. That actually sad. 